All right, greetings again to everybody in YouTube land. I am once again back up here at Lake Onolani and I'm on the back side of it and I'm here to film something that <laughs> some people may think is neat. I think it's uncalled for, but as everybody may have, may not heard that Centralia is doing away with the graffiti highway. They are burying it because of everybody that's hanging around up there, turning it into a party spot and everything else. So it got buried recently under dirt. So on the back side of Lake Honolani here, there is an abandoned bridge and it's at West Shore Drive and Ridge Road. And I remember as a kid when I used to fish up here back in the 80s that this bridge was open, but back in uh, probably 15 years ago, maybe, from what I was told, um, they closed it to um, vehicle traffic because of it being structurally unsafe for that, but it's still safe for people to cross. So we're going to take a look at uh, what people are saying is the next graffiti highway or the next uh, Centralia Highway. It's actually the Graffiti Bridge. So come on along and we'll check it out. As you can see, came here to leave their mark. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that it's been closed for for 15 about 15 years. I want to say it's closed longer than that. But after talking with some people and they're saying it's uh, they spoke to some of the locals here and they said it's 15 years so this is it this was actually a two-lane bridge that you could uh, go across drive across and this went through and up until five years ago maybe um, you had to go up Ridge Road over the camera and follow camera around to come back down to West Shore Drive to uh, and then follow the road in which comes out that way but about five years ago they closed it off up at Kemmerer now and you have to walk all the way down to get to the other side of the bridge where you used to be able to just um, drive down there. Rumor has it too many people were getting stuck there and they got tired of um, Pulling towing companies having to pull people out, so they stopped it from vehicles going down there. I don't believe that. I think there's something else that was going on there that they decided to close the road off. Yeah, so there is a little stream that comes in up in the back there. But I don't know if there's a specific name to it or not. Um, this is pretty good fishing here. I remember fishing here when I was a kid in the 80s. Excellent area for crappie bass. But once the lily pads come in season, this whole area here is covered in lily pads. And it is a mess to fish. you got to know how to fish lily pads if you want to catch anything. And either that or you got to wade out past them and wade out, I mean, have chest waders and stuff because they do not allow boats on the lake here because this is a lake uh, where the city of Reading gets its drinking water from, one of the areas where they get it from. So there is no motor boats, paddle boats, kayaks, anything allowed on this lake at all. The only way to get out there is to wade out. And it's hard to tell how deep it is because this was basically land that was flooded when this was built back in the day. 
they built the dam breast that's down on Route 73 where the waterfall is that uh, the bridge goes over. They basically built that, dug out a little bit there, and basically flooded this farmland. There is, when we have a severe drought here and stuff, you can actually see the foundations of the farmhouses that used to be along here. And at one spot, the uh, stone arch bridge that used to go across the Maiden Creek can be visible. And they just left the bridge in place and uh, submerged it when they flooded, you know, built the dam, flooded the farmland here. So, over in the distance there again is the, the Allentown uh, Cement Company. Wind's not blowing the right direction because you can't hear them. Usually you can hear them uh, from here, but the wind's blowing from the west today, so you're not getting the sound of the cement factory, which is really unusual. And this other area that's over here, I have to do some research on it. I want to say they put a desiltant basin in there or something to... Um, desilt the area here but I'm not quite sure that I have to do some more research on that and if I find out exactly what I'll put it in the comments but I know that was just done a couple years ago and stuff and I know when I was up here before uh, filming and geocaching on the other side of the lake over there I did see tractor trailers coming out of one of the, the dirt paths out there so I'm not quite sure what they're doing over there but I see some shacks over there too and I'm not sure if they're with um, somebody put them there that they use there for when they're fishing or what and there's one there and I saw another one around here too I don't know where it yep there it is so I don't know if that's fishing there or it's a blind there for ducks because you can hunt here I'm not quite uh, not quite sure what that's all about there. But yeah, um, again, the city of Reading owns the owns the land here and has the lake and everything, but the game commission leases the land and of course the fish commission has jurisdiction over the over the lake for the fishing part. along here I seen something up here that I wanted to check out it looks like somebody tore this out probably kids messing around here tearing bits of the concrete up probably to throw it off the throw it off the bridge yeah you can see right through there we can see that or not there's a nice big hole there I don't know what's to become of this bridge if they're actually ever gonna I think at one time they were talking about fixing it at some point but I can't see them sinking the money into fixing this I really don't to me, it just seems like it's too far gone, too far gone, and um, gonna cost too much money to to fix it. So this very well, very well, may be the next, you know, graffiti highway, since the one up in Centralia. Centralia, I'm having problems talking today. <laughs> Lack of sleep. Um, up there, since that one's done. This will be the next one, although I'm told there's another graffiti highway, but I have to do some research on it. It's supposed to be down in the Birdsboro area. And uh, I have to check that one out. Side. If I can zoom in, there's the. I'm 
guessing that's the office building for Lehigh Cement. That was just recently built. When I say recently, it's probably been, um, where are we at here, 2020, uh, probably five years since I've been back here. So that building was just built within the last five years. I'm guessing that's uh, one of their offices, but I'm not sure. But that is a pretty big building there, and pretty nice looking building too. So that could be their uh, corporate office there or something or other. And up on the hill, I'm, I have to Google on Google Maps again to see what uh, what that is actually up there. I know there was mushroom farms over in that area. I don't know if that's Campbell's Fresh anymore or if that's a junkyard up there or what. I know there's a bunch of businesses over there. And I know the one mushroom farm that was over there was called Campbell's Fresh at one time, but I don't know if that's still around or bought out by a different, uh, another company or, you know, whatever. I'm going to continue across the bridge here and I'm going to go down along the, the banks of the lake here and stuff. See if I can get some good pictures of the, of the bridge here for you. the area where I was talking about that it used to used to be able to drive down to this parking area right over there and you could park there and fish now anymore if you want to fish here you got to try and find a parking spot on that side of the bridge where we came from or walk <laughs> almost a half quarter to a half mile up the road to where the other roadblock is a camera road and come in that way And like I said, that happened within the last five years as well, that they claimed people were getting stuck here. And they got tired of having tow companies come in here and pull people out. I am not buying that. There's something else behind that. But the graffiti highway continues. And it's still going up through there. seems a little high back here. But again, we had rain the past uh, few days. Yeah, because there is more... This water is definitely up, because there is more shoreline. Than what is here. You used to be able to walk underneath this bridge here. And now you can't. And you used to be able to walk on the bridge on the other side over there too, and you can't right now, so the water is definitely up. And I did take notice of something else just standing here along the creek, along the uh, the bank here of the lake. 
if you look over, way over on the other side there, definitely showing signs of deterioration there. I just saw that standing here. You seen that there? There's another spot too where it's deteriorating a little bit. But the bridge has definitely seen better days. Yeah, I had some people walking across it too. Yeah, I watch. I don't like drawing too much attention to myself filming. There are people here walking because it, it is a good day to get out and walk. And with everything that's going on right now, people are out just to get out of the house, which is basically what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to walk up through, go on the other side, see if I can get some better pictures of the bridge. There's another view of the bridge from the other side. And I said there ain't nobody over here fishing, but this has definitely changed since since I used to fish up here. Like I said, I know for a fact. You now it could just be because of the time of year, but over there under the bridge, you could walk underneath that bridge and fish from there and fish from along that bank over there and now you can't so definitely changed a little bit but once uh warmer weather gets here and stuff those lily pads <laughs> i should come up here later on in the summer and show you what it's like it is a mess with lily pads it's, it's terrible but if you know how to fish the lily pads you're going to get some great fish out of this lake way off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it or not. But way, yeah, if I can hold the camera. Hold the camera steady enough. Right there. That is the William Penn Fire Tower out on Skyline Drive above the city of Reading. You can see that from here. Those of you that aren't familiar with the area, it's outside of Reading. It's, um, Lake Onalani is along Route 73. It's in, um, I think it's actually in two different townships. I could be wrong. I know for sure part of it is in Maiden Creek Township. I'm not sure if the other part's in Onalani Township or not. I can't, re I can't remember, but I think it is split between both townships. And it's fed by the uh, Maiden Creek which is up in the back there is where it comes in. And if you saw some of my other videos that I made um, from over in Peters Creek, um, it would be straight out over in there is where Peters Creek is. So that's where I did some other uh, filming over there. There's plenty up here to film and stuff if you like exploring. Um, I'm probably going to spend spend some time up here taking trips up here and filming and stuff. Like I said, I want to go over and explore this area and see if that is actually at the Silton Basin over there or what that is. Because I know that was never there before. Looks like I have somebody else walking down the road. So we're going to wait a couple minutes here and walk up. See how far that graffiti highway goes. If it goes all the way up to camera or not.
So just walking down the road here and looking, I'm not going to walk all the way the length, but it pretty much I can see graffiti going all the way down through there. So, and the bridge that I was at is actually down around the bend right there. So, this is going to be, at the rate this is going, with all this stuff, this is going to be the, the next graffiti highway. Sorry to say it. Um, some people like the artwork. I particularly don't care for it. So, but to each their own. But I'm not a, I'm not a fan of a spray painted highway and, and everything, but like I said, too much of a party spot up in Centralia and it, it was bought out once once a highway gets abandoned after a certain amount of time the, the road becomes part of the land so whoever the adjacent landowners are take possession of the abandoned road which is what happened up in Centralia back in 2018 um, Pit Real Corporation, it also goes by another name, owned the land on either side of the Graffiti Highway. And they got the land and stuff, so technically it became private property. And that's when the no trespassing signs went up and stuff. And state police were there citing the people, you know, for walking and the four-wheelers and bikes and everything and stuff. But the other week... JP from JP Videos was up there before they closed it and started burying it. There were hundreds of people up there. It was it was ridiculous and stuff. I mean, I want to go up to Centralia and film it up there because of the history of it. Because I remember it when it was a town back in the 80s when I was a kid. And I used to go through that area up there. But, I mean, if you're going to come out to a place, show some respect. That's with anything. Places I go to, if anybody goes there, you know, show some respect. Respect the land, respect the, you know, the adjacent property owners and stuff like that. Don't leave your trash behind and you won't catch me doing, you know, this on a highway. I'm here like some of the other ones that are there to document stuff. That way when it goes away, there's some documentation to it. Because if you don't have documentation stuff goes away and there's no record of it you know it's you know history and stuff but it's enough of those the rambling and stuff same thing with this bridge this bridge may get fixed someday or they may tear it down it all depends it all depends how much uh how much of a liability it is how much of a party spot it is and stuff never know so We are going to go back across here and pretty much wrap this up. Hopefully I won't run into any more people walking along here. can't remember if I did a shot of it looking from coming from this end or not so if I did it's a repeat
things that I can remember, you know, being a kid. Hard to think, you know, 30, and I was 30 years ago when I used to come up here fishing. I used to walk across this bridge all the time with cars coming across it. Funny how times change. again to where we started back at my vehicle and one last look looking over so there you have it judge for yourself so that's going to be the next graffiti highway we'll see time will tell but hey if you like the video give it a thumbs up also hit the uh, subscribe button as well so thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, we'll see you soon.